Welcome to Football Navigator, looking at Mamkiz's net worth and how did she make her money. While we're at it, please like the video and subscribe. Sean Kize, who is popularly known as Mam Kize, has a net worth of 300 million rand. As a re-owned South African businesswoman, she is involved in several ventures that cut across various sectors of the economy. These investments by Mam Kize have not only made her popular, but she has also gathered a staggered amount of wealth from various business endeavors, which accounts for her huge net worth. Mamkiza was born into a political family and was raised by her mother Florence Mkize, an ANC veteran anti-apartheid activist. The former councillor in Eteguini, her father was also part of the ANC as an activist against the apartheid regime but he met his death in 1991 when he was allegedly shot by a policeman for reasons connected to politics. The next year Mamkiza also lost one of her brothers is Pingo during a police shootout. Aside from politics, her family was also business inclined. Mamkiza's mother started a construction company named Zikulisa Construction. This company would later become the kickoff point for the wealth and influence that would mass amass. Florence Mkize later died in 2008 from heart related problems, but her legacy lives on as the Eteguini municipality raised a building named it after the heroine Florence Mkize, building under Durban ICC. And CBD. Her 300 million rand net worth comes from her multifaceted engagements. She is currently involved in Sikulise Construction, Football Clubs, Reality TV Show, Real Estate Properties. She is rich and she is not shy showing it off. From her posts on Instagram to the revelation of her remarkable five star luxury apartment that she flaunts effortlessly on her reality TV show. Her high star class assets to the fact that Mam Kiza is extremely wealthy. All these put together begs the question what is the source of her wealth? Zikulisa Construction Company was handed down to Mam Kize by her mother and she continued to build it to become the empire that it is now. The company is responsible for many housing projects in Durban and has won many tenders from the government to build low-budget houses in the city. It is also gathered that her former husband, policeman Swum Bisane, has resigned and joined her in the company while they were still together to beat its image. Although the desired goal for Zikulisa construction was achieved, the company would later come under scrutiny and they would allegedly accuse of tax evasion and fraudulent activities. Thankfully, they came out victorious. The cases happened in 2012 and 2016 respectively and she would eventually divorce her husband in 2019. When it comes to football clubs, she left Royal Eagles, a football club she and her former husband owned, and went on to buy Royal Kings. After the purchase, they renamed the club Royal AM. Though she had always wanted a team that would be playing in the Premier League, she had to settle for a team that was playing in the second division. When Royal AM failed to meet her expectations, she went further to buy Celtic for a total sum of 50 million rands. This move further increased her fame, and in a football match, her newly acquired team played against Chakuma Chama Chifende. She met with Lawrence Masala Molaudzi, a football club chairman who would end up in becoming her bearer. More so, the Royal AM team picked up in their league and began to amass sponsorships and several endorsements. Quite exciting. With her reality TV, the versatile businesswoman has also turned into a TV sensation. As DSTV's Mzanti Magic began to air her reality show, Kwamam Kize, she flaunts her beautiful house, her family, including her son Andile Mpisani, her famous stepdaughter Smashle Mpisani, and those closest to them on the show. However, her ex-husband had some reservations about the show, which he made public after the divorce, but that did not stop Mam Kize from keeping the show running. So far, Mam Kize's show has become a hit with several viewers, and this paved the way for her to land a role in the popular SABC drama Uzalo. More so, she went on to win the best reality TV show in 2022 from Hollywood in African Prestigious Awards. Mamkiza's apartment in La Lucia, Durban is a mega mansion where she also hosts parties with top politicians and friends. The multi-million mansion is one of the sight of all for the viewers of the reality show. It clearly may even stand out as a tourist view in Durban. She acquired this asset for several million of dollars and rented by the adjoining properties to be able to build what she had in her mind. 
Sean also bought additional properties after her mansion, which has renovated to use as showroom for her many luxurious cars. Her real estate investments also include the Royal AM Luxury and Grooming Pampering Lounge and other properties she bought, renovated and gifted as an entertainment pad for her son. This said property is so big that it could be mistaken for a small. Let's look at how Mam Kiza withstood the alleged bribery of tax evasion. In 2012, the astute businesswoman was arrested for allegedly trying to bribe her way out of a tax evasion case by bribing an investigating officer the South African Revenue Service had accused her of non-compliance. Her file had up to 173 charges of froggery and fraud that was accused of by the charges were later withdrawn. However, a couple of years later, 2016, she and her ex-husband, Swoon Kisani, were called out once again by SARS, and this time it was a case of debt. They were said to be owing up to 141 million rand in taxes. Fortunately, they had a good legal team that won them the case. Mum Kizi professed that they were followed due procedures when acquiring tenders and clearly stated that she was a taxpayer. These were some of the major things that led to end up to the case. Now, the philanthropic works Mum Kizi is involved in flaunts her luxurious lifestyle. She's of the disposition of that giving back to society should be a thing of her heart rather than a thing of display or a publicity stunt. She said this in response to her fans who urged her into making a show of philanthropic gestures. Sometime in January 22, the enterprising lady worked closely with the Department of Sports and Culture and was given the honor of choosing a school she would love to donate to. More so, together with her family, Mam Kiza has one of time donated to choose and sanitary pads to Umlazi Comtech High School. More so, her massive success over the years has endured her to a lot of young South Africans, especially ladies who look up to her as a role model. Samizin Klongo, who also happens to be her best friend, has referred to Mam Kiza as the true definition of black girl magic and an inspiration to many.